Do not disrespect our ancestors while talking about this old bow bra. The notion we are not our ancestors, that comes from a perspective that was taught to you about your ancestors from the oppressor, from the colonizer, from the enslaver. They say they were passive, docile beings, and that is not the truth. Because even the goddamn NationalGeographic.com understand how there were centuries of slave revolts that shaped the American history. You see what I'm saying? Not centuries of just conforming and saying, yes, a massive. As a matter of fact, Mr. Cream made a wonderful video, if you don't follow him, go follow him, about the historical context of this old body of water. And what he pointed out is that the docks of this river right here used to be used to bring on enslaved Africans. And you a damn fool if you believe that the enslaved Africans is pulled up ready to work and not ready to fight for that humanity or their freedom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my mama, last week I went to the NAACP convention in Boston and I went to the Boston Tea Party Museum and tour. And on my grandpa grave, every way that they were able to describe the empowering, the inspiring, the, 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 the passion of the colonists being represented in the particular way it was, that's the same way them brothers pulled up to that boat dock. You see what I'm saying? But instead of throwing tea over, they was throwing Karen and them over. You see what I'm saying? Let me sprinkle a little bit more historical context. The daring, desperate acts of rebellions from New York to to the Caribbean shattered contemporary stereotypes of enslaved peoples and challenged the institution of slavery itself. And even if you want to talk about the civil rights movement, do not paint all our ancestors as talking about non-violence to turn you on the chicken. Even with that being said, Martin Luther King was sick and tired of being sick and tired of too. That's why they eliminated him because he was about throwing them hands as well eventually. Hey, some separate, the last thing in conclusion, right? I know a lot of us in the community feel empowered and inspired by what we've seen in Montgomery, Alabama. Pip game. Those people still have to live in Montgomery, Alabama. They still have to deal with the racial backlash and the tension and all that. So make sure we keep the same energy and tenacity when it comes to helping these folks be able to pay for their bond and be able to pay for legal fees. I went to this person's Facebook page that started this old GoFundMe and it seemed like it's a little legit, but I need y'all help verify that. You see what I'm saying? I got two or three hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? The dude that was throwing that chair, he gonna need about three, four lawyers probably because he going to jail. Do not disrespect our ancestors talking about we ain't our ancestors. Shit, some of us in our wildest days could not muster up the energy, the courage, the bravery to even be able to stand in proximity to our ancestors. You see what I'm saying? As an individual with a degree in African and African American studies, I would not allow for y'all to disrespect the ancestors and I'm not saying nothing about it on my platform. Education is elevation. Research of a me search. Here go a couple other slave rebellions you should learn about if you know what I'm talking about. This right here from PBS, you feel me? A whole bunch of African-American slave rebellions that you should know about.